Good afternoon, everyone. It's Benicia, your community outreach specialist, and I'm bringing you another special video, like always, because again, I say that at the beginning of every single video. But today, I'm going to be talking to our community outreach assistant, Ashley, and just to talk to you guys about the hiring process that she went through, um, because she is a civilian, like myself, so it's a little bit different for like the certified side, but just stay tuned. Hopefully, it'll answer some questions. You guys, you know, message in all the time about this, so here's your chance to find out the nitty gritty, how long it took, how much paperwork is involved. It's not that much, okay. Okay, let's figure, should I step down to make myself the same height as you? Or should I just be honest about like, uh, Let's not. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, everyone. So I have Ashley with me. Da -da -da -da. You've Hello. already met her previously. She's a community outreach assistant. So she works in the office with me and a couple of others. We technically fall under the community relations umbrella. There is a handful of us. Again, not as many as you guys think that there are, but small crew. Yes, a very small crew, but you know, the love runs deep in our crew, basically. So Ashley, let's first of all, I feel like I have to be honest. Come just on, about, guys, I'm really short. Like she's really, really, and we're both wearing heels today yep. and her heels are taller than mine. All right. We're just, yeah. I'm just gonna come back down for you. Okay. Thank you. So we've adjusted. Okay. So Ashley. Yes. Hey. Hey. Tell the people a little bit about yourself, first of all. Okay. Um, so a little background. I went to Florida Atlantic University. Uh, I mean, the owls are okay. I went to FIU. <laughs> um, <laughs> So, went to Florida Atlantic University, graduated two years ago. Okay. I have a bachelor's degree in criminal justice. Very cool. Uh, so, graduated, stayed in Miami for a little bit, and then recently, a couple months ago, about two months ago, yeah, decided it was time to come home. Mm -hmm. Born and raised in Pasco County. Um, or in Tampa. Weren't you born and raised in Tampa? I was technically born in Tampa, but I was Pasco raised in... County. I was raised in Pasco. Oh, I guess. Okay. Sorry, I'm, I'm born and raised in Tampa. I, you rep Pasco. I rep Pasco now, but I'm just saying, like, I will rep Pasco. 813, always. Oh. I have 813 <laughs> phone number. Oh, I just assume it's at, okay. Anyways. Side conversation. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I have a bachelor's degree in criminal justice, mm -hmm. stayed in Miami, then recently decided it was time to come home. Um, so, I always have had a love and passion for law enforcement. So, also with that, I do love being out in the community, um, being around people. So I went on the Pasco Sheriff's website and saw. Side note: Did you do you have anyone in the family in law enforcement? Is that or you just have always loved law enforcement? Just like you. I do been in to it? New Jersey. That's really um, cool. Also have an Air Force family as well. Okay. So a little bit of both. Okay. Um, so you went on PascoSheriff.com. Slash, slash careers, careers. Mm -hmm. um, and there was a posting for a community engagement assistant position ooh. and I was like ooh what is that <laughs> so I read a little bit about it and I was like well that's perfect you know mm -hmm. I love being around people the community and also have a love and passion for law enforcement mm -hmm. so I was really looking to mix the two um, so I applied mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie it is a lengthy application <laughs> it really is. but if you're committed enough you mm -hmm. will finish it exactly um, so about I want to say a week later, mm -hmm. um, the sheriff's secretary had reached out to me, asked me if I was interested in coming in for an interview. Ooh. So of course I did. Um, so when I came in, it was a panel interview. So I met with about four to five people. Um, I, did I was not. nervous. You, were you really? I don't know if it seemed like it. I was nervous. You kind of did coming in. I mean, little nerves here and there, but once I get in my groove, then we're good. You were good. I, I didn't sit good. in on Ashley's interview. I was busy that day. But I said hey to her when she came in because you guys know I've, I've known Ashley. We so. have. So yeah. it's kind of like, hey. Hi. Good bye. Luck, bye. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so after that, um, they let me know that they would be in contact with me about a week either way, whether they wanted mm -hmm. to or did not want to move forward with me. Either mm -hmm. way, they do at least give you a courtesy call, which mm -hmm. is really nice. Yeah. Um, so they gave me a time frame about a week. So actually two days later, got a call um, that they wanted to move along with me with mm -hmm. the process and everything. So Bring you into the fam. The fam. The, the fam bam. So, um, <laughs> so from there, the steps were uh, I had to have a physical done. Mm -hmm. I had to pass a drug test, a psych evaluation, 
also had to turn in six references. Mm -hmm. um, you either can turn them in in person or mm -hmm. they could submit them online or send them directly to the office. And it's not like, uh, just so you guys know, it's not like you list references, like you have to actually reach out to people and have them fill out a questionnaire about yeah. you basically. So whatever mm -hmm. references you put when you apply, those are the ones you reach need. out to them mm -hmm. and they actually have to fill out a form. Um, so I had to turn that in. Mm -hmm. I also, what else was there? So psych test, drug test. Oh, transcripts. Transcripts. I mm -hmm. had to have official trans transcripts <laughs> sent here. English. Um, so that was, I think that that was it. it. For everything, you know, prior to coming on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, after I got all of that in, then I had an orientation, which took, mm -hmm. which took about half of the day. So... It's a lot all of your paperwork. paperwork. It's a lot of paperwork. So all the paperwork, and after that, I was sent off to my fam, and and here she's we been are. with us ever since. And Boom. And it's truly, I've been here almost two months now, and it's crazy. Yes. Like I feel like I just started, mm -hmm. um, but I love it. So. <laughs> every day, I feel like every day you are exposed to something new. I am, especially in our so Ashley's position, she gets to float. So she helps out with like the social media stuff, video editing, media requests, legislative stuff. Like she is uh, the charity store. She really truly floats. So she kind of, I'm the go-to. Exactly. <laughs> her her position is kind of it's kind of it's great. It's uh, actually, if you want to like, be well rounded. There you go. In that's the community what it is. relations. I couldn't think of those words. <laughs> Ashley's yeah. position is it not that anyone needs to come to try to take her position because she is holding on to it strong. It's not going anywhere. Nope. And she decorated the entire office for Christmas. So yes. So I put a There's tree that. up. It mm -hmm. has blue lights. Yeah. Shift, caution tape all around. It's really cute. Yeah. And there's yeah. some stuff on the ceiling that I put up. I had to climb on a chair. Yeah. Because she's short. Yes. Yes. But Five foot yeah. One. So that's pretty much it. And now yeah. I'm here and I absolutely love coming so, to work every day for anyone that's looking to apply would you say that the application process is daunting or is it just pretty much the same as any job that you know you you want a position you see it it's not too too extensive i mean i've had i've seen applications where you know you apply it takes 10 minutes to do it and boom that's it mm -hmm. This is not it. Mm -hmm. So again, this is something if you're committed to it, mm -hmm. you will make it happen and it'll be worth your while. Mm -hmm. But it's not something just that you could do just that. Yeah, if no. you're not really into it, it's then not for you. you're going to probably get halfway through and be like, oh, okay. But it's not the worst. It's not. So for all of you guys that are looking, we constantly update with new positions on the certified and civilian side. And again, this is more, this is tailored to the civilian side, but certified, it's not, I'm not going to speak on that because it is a lot different, different but it's not too different when it comes to like the application process so i mean maybe i'll get someone that's new that's in the fto program to go over that at some point soon so i'll put in the description below the link to our careers page but if you don't live here and you want to move to pasco you know we can make you pasco proud but if you do live here or you live close by apply come join the fam and that's it so what do they have to do what are the three things like comment subscribe <laughs> i love it and we will see you tomorrow